Hi everyone, and welcome to What's Brewing. I'm Mark. In today's episode, we're going to be sitting down with Destin Ortigo, Executive Director for the Opportunity Machine in Lafayette, Louisiana. But before we get into it, let's roll that B-roll. Destin, thank you so much for joining us today. Ah, thanks for having me. So for the people at home that don't know who you are, go ahead and tell us, uh, tell us who you are. Uh, well, my name is Destin Artigo, and I'm the executive director for Opportunity Machine, uh, which is a business incubator located here in downtown Lafayette, Louisiana. Downtown Lafayette, Louisiana. Yeah, finally, we made it. We made it. <laughs> I know uh, I've been with you guys actually for a good little while. Like, you know, I've been friends for a while. Um, it's crazy to see the journey of guys getting down here in this beautiful room that we're shooting in today. Um, so what, what was that journey? Because you're the director of the Opportunity Machine. How did you get from college to here? Whew, okay, well, uh, I, I went to the University of Louisiana Lafayette for graphic design, but that's not what I started out in. I changed my major probably like three or four times. Uh, at one point in time, I was in computer science, should have stuck with that, you know, <laughs> but at, at the time I was just like, eh, you know, uh, and so I loved the graphic design aspect and I kind of did some freelancing for a while after I graduated and uh, actually worked for our, our neighbor for a little while, Parashank over there. Uh, but then I decided that I, I wasn't really interested in the sitting in front of a computer all day. And while I liked the design aspect of things, I, I wanted to change that up. And, and at the time I'd was playing music and so I just decided to focus on trying to do that for a while uh, and then probably about the age of 28 or so I decided that uh, being in a van with a, a bunch of you know sweaty guys for a while and <laughs> and not, exactly. and not uh, knowing when the next paycheck's coming through you know uh, yes if you've ever been a musician you know exactly what he's talking about yeah and it stinks yeah <laughs> absolutely Literally. yeah but uh but you know great skill set that I learned from that is if you can convince people to come watch your band play, you know, probably not very good band play, you know, uh, then you can probably figure out how to promote other things. And, uh, and so I thought about doing something else. I was like, okay, well, if I'm gonna go back and get my master's in something, then I'm going to start doing something with that immediately and not wait till I go through that to start doing anything with it, which is what I recommend for anybody going to college is if you're going to go and jump into a major, then start working, towards that career immediately and don't wait till you get out of college to to go and start doing something you know or something related to what it is that you're going to get your degree in because that'll tell you really quickly if you're doing it in real life exactly. that's an actual let you know if you actually enjoy it exactly i love i love graphic design as a as a as a skill set and something that i can do and but when it comes to the actual work of you know, doing this as a real job, it's vastly different in most cases, you know, and, um, you know, sometimes you, ha you just have to do work for the people that are going to pay you. And sometimes that work is, is not that interesting, not that fun. You know, you don't get a lot of that creative aspect of it. So that's why I decided to change it up and go back. And then, um, and so I went to get my master's in public relations and decided that I was going to start doing more events and things like that. So I ran a bunch of events. Uh, for a while and kind of took that skill set I got from graphic design and the creative aspects and uh, wanting to be around and socialize with people and work with people, uh, do some charity event stuff and use that skill set I got from being in a band and trying to promote events and bring people out to a place towards event planning. And then I did that for a while and then I ended up uh, getting connected with uh, people that were working with, through Opportunity Machine and uh, took an internship with them. And then it just kind of fell into place. So 2013, I came on as an intern with Opportunity Machine. And in 20, uh, I believe it was 2018, I uh, became the executive director. That's an amazing journey from like graphic design, switching majors, going on the road as a band, so going on a rose band, then event planning, then to I'm an executive director helping businesses grow. Yeah. And, and I mean, there's a lot that happened between being an intern and you yeah. know, becoming executive director, right? Uh, but I, I think the, the part that I always like to share with people about that story is because, and especially when 
uh, I made the switch to more of this type of career. Uh, and I started talking to other people who were getting out of playing music because it just, you know, it wasn't working out for them. It wasn't something that, um, that they realized that they wanted to do as a career, you know, uh, or it just didn't pan out and they were trying to figure out what else to do. Uh, I mean, I've spoken to people who have gone from being 10 years musician to trying to become a developer, you know, and try to, you know, be front end or back end developer or people that have tried to get into, you know, financial planning and uh, other things like that, like just complete career shift. Right. And they just don't know where to go, where to start or, you know, how to work towards that. And so, uh, you know, it's, it, it feels good to be able to sit with them and say, like, look, all that stuff you learned playing music and being on the road and things like that, like you just have to figure out what are the aspects of that skill sets that you've developed that you're probably not even thinking are really much of a skill set, but you've developed some sort of skill set through that whole process that can be applied to other areas in certain ways, right? Um, like it, being in the band, you have to be around other people. You have to deal with a lot of different personality types. And if you decide that, oh, like I really want to get into development, well, there's a really good skill set there where you can close the gap between some, the, the developers who have a hard time talking to people mm -hmm. <laughs> and communicating uh, and the people who really want the thing to be built but have a hard time communicating with the developers, right? Uh, and so like product owner, project management for development staff, I mean, there's a lot of ways to utilize those skill sets and, and not feel like you wasted. You wasted, uh, you wasted years of your life. Years of your life, yeah, exactly. That makes sense. Well, right. so I, I, I love the story that we're going, we're going across so far. I, we're going to have to do a part two on this one. So actually we need to wrap up this, this, this first one and okay. we're going to do a part two. You cool with that? Absolutely. Awesome. Dustin, thank you so much for doing this with us. Um, and that's going to do it for us here over at What's Brewing. Uh, if you like what you see here, don't forget to hit that like button, crush that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring that bell to get all the notifications. But until the next one, have a good one.